What's up guys, this is The Honest Outlaw here, and today I'm going to bring to the table something I am pretty excited about. Something I'm lucky enough to get my hands on as well. I did a video on the FK Bruno field pistol quite a while back now, a couple of months ago, when it was first released to the public. Well, I got lucky enough to get my hands on one, and I think if I'm not the first, I'm one of the first in the United States to actually test this pistol out which is pretty awesome. Every once in a while, it's good to be a gun tuber. So with further ado, let's unbox this bad boy and I'll show you what it looks like. So for those of you who didn't see the previous video, basically what's so exciting about this pistol is it, and it has a little bit less than 44 Magnum power in a semi-auto and Unlike something like the uh, Desert Eagle, it's supposed to be very reliable based on the Browning high power. It looks like a CZ based on the Browning high power. It kind of feels like a Browning high power to hand too now that I actually got my hands on it. Not only does it have a really high powered cartridge in a semi-auto magazine fed design, it also is very lightweight. Around 45 ounces, at least as advertised. I have yet to weigh it, but it does feel very lightweight and that's very cool. The same weight around as a 1911, yet have the capability to use it as an offensive pistol, even for something as large as a black bear. In their advertisement, they did take down what looked like a, a small elk or a very large deer, I can't remember, but the, ca the cartridge is definitely capable to do just about anything you'd want to do, especially in North America, where I happen to be. Now that I've got it in my hands here, I have shot it, which is very cool. I'll roll in that footage really quick. But one of the things I noticed about it when I opened it is how unbelievably smooth it is. So let me show you that real quick. The magazines come out like butter and they go in like butter. Very impressive. It comes with two magazines as you see here. I don't know how much they hold. 16 rounds it looks like. So 16 rounds of 44 Magnum power in a semi-auto. Very impressive. Comes with two mags, comes with a holster, and it comes with a whole slew of other things as well that I haven't checked out at all. Comes with an extra rear sight. What's well, another thing I noticed was the really, really cool rear sight. Kind of hard to see there. I'll try to put it on the yellow. But it has a ghost ring rear sight and then a top notch, which is which is a very cool and very unique sighting system. It also has the uh, the fins there to protect it as well, which is pretty awesome. The uh, the uh, lug underneath the barrel where the spring goes is very unique. Just a very unique looking pistol with a very long barrel. It's design originally was supposed to be for something that you can carry for either hunting or self-defense that you could engage animals or whatever at 100 yards plus. So I'm going to be very interested to do some accuracy testing with this in the future. They did give me rounds, which is super nice. This is what the 5.7mm uh, round looks like because I don't think I can get them in the United States. So I'll show you what the uh, box ammunition looks like as well. God, my lights are super bright today. Sorry about that. Yeah, high terminal effect. I believe that based on shooting it. So the other claim to fame it has, besides having lots of power and being super lightweight, is having fairly low recoil and taming that power that it comes with. One of the ways that it does that, I could tell based right off the first two. I've only shot two magazines through it so far. I basically went to my FFL, picked it up, got out of the truck, loaded the magazines in the parking lot, or in my driveway parking lot, like I live at Walmart or something, in the driveway, yelled at my wife, she came out and filmed me, and we shot it. And one of the things I noticed is is the grip was very ergonomic. This feels like a shadow too. It even kind of looks like a shadow too, if you can tell with the uh, the grip. The grip angle feels a lot like a Browning high power, but the undercut on the trigger guard was extremely impressive. I wish that CZ would come out with this. I've been complaining about that forever. I wish CZ would have this trigger guard right here. Another thing that I noticed is that the trigger is fantastic. Now, as you can see here, it is just single action, which is okay because single action triggers lead to better accuracy for the most part because they're great triggers. Now I'm gonna dry fire this right here. It is extremely impressive. The reset's a little bit longer than my CZ Orange, but I think the trigger is as light and crisp for sure. Uh, I did speed shoot this just a little bit, shot a few rounds in a row, tried to do a plate rack with it, and uh, it worked a lot better than a 44 Magnum revolver would, that's for sure, so I think they're really onto something here. Uh, you can see there, serial number 0006. Pretty awesome. I'm pretty impressed with this pistol so far. Uh, I'm not entirely sure how much it retails for yet. I've heard some rumors, but I'm going to get a hold of FK Bruno and figure out that. I do some accuracy testing. Uh, I try to shoot it fast. 
and kind of use it under the conditions that maybe you would want to buy it for. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. Please help out your local homeless shelters and remember to recycle. And uh, tune in in the future for more of this pistol. I'll check you later. Is that all we loaded? Yep. Oh boy, I'm gonna have some fun with this. Are you? <laughs>